Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do some more fun, practical, and economical paper crafting. Stay tuned. So for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, come on guys, get on board. We're doing some amazing things and we would love to have you join this online crafting family. You are going to learn some awesome paper crafting, terrific techniques, a wonderful group of people for daily fellowshipping and live chatting. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We've got it all on this channel. And guys, here is today's project. It is a mini two-parter because I did get a lot of comments asking for a tissue box that could just be dropped in a purse. This one is chipboard free and it is such a cute little mini. We're going to make this and we're also going to make a small desktop set, basically with our calendar, to-do list sticky notes, and then flags so that we can flag something of importance very easy to make, very simple to make, and we're going to make it right now. So the first thing that we're going to make is the platform that holds our calendar, to-do list, and sticky note flags. Very quick, very easy. Here's what you need to make it. We have two pieces of chipboard that measure six by eight. You can stack these together to get heavyweight chipboard, which is exactly what I'm going to do. If you happen to have a heavyweight chipboard, that will definitely work. If you don't have chipboard at all, use whatever it is you have. You can also make this platform larger if you want to because we are starting with a 12 by 12 piece of chipboard. So I am making mine so that it is um, eight by six, but you can make yours larger, totally up to you. Then we are going to need a liner piece that measures seven and three quarters, by five and three quarters. And then we have our cover piece and this is some beautiful paper that I got from AC Moore when they were still in business. And this paper measures eight by 10. And then you are going to need a mini desk calendar. You can find these at the Dollar Tree. They have them at Dollar General and they also have them from what I've been told in Walmart. I haven't seen them in Walmart but I have been told that they have calendars just like this in Walmart. And then I have some um, individual packs of tissues that we will be using on this project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and take this out of the pack. And I want to take the calendar from the space and I'm not going to use this on this project, but I will be using it on another project. And then we are going to take our chipboard and remove the backing. And we are going to stack these two together. And that is how we're going to get that thickness of heavyweight chipboard. But like I said, if you don't have chipboard, guys, please use whatever it is you have available to you. And then I'm going to peel off this tape. And we're going to go ahead and place it down on our eight by 10 paper. So I definitely want this to be the outside. So I'm going to flip it over. Place this down just like this. And then I'll flip it over here. And I'm going to use my spatula just to get everything nice and smooth. Then I'll use my stylus. And when I'm using my stylus, I'm basically using the chipboard as a guide while I press down into the paper to get a crease. And we do this on all four sides. And this is great for helping to minimize cracking. Might not eliminate it, but it will help to minimize. So now I can take this and on all four sides, 
I am going to do just a slight fold over and then I can use my finger blade and I'm going to miter my ends. And we miter on all four sides. And for those of you who might be having problems getting your miter just right, because that can be a problem for me sometimes too. Sometimes I cut it too close. So if you think you've cut it too close, just take one of the little edges that you cut off, put some glue on the back, take it and just put it in your corners, just like this. And when you fold over, if you have cut it too close, the coordinating paper will show underneath. So now that we have our miters done, we can go ahead and fold this over and get it stuck down. I am going to use my tape runner on this part, place some tape on all four flaps. And then I will just fold over use my handy dandy big old spatula and get that stuck. And you can see where I placed that piece down. If I had cut short, you'd never know it because it just blends right in. And that isn't my idea. That was actually given to me by someone who used to watch the channel. So, you know, you guys share awesome tips as well. So I am going to just fold over that final one. Once I have all four sides folded over, I am going to use my spatula and go around my ends just to get everything nice and smooth. And now we have the base for our calendar. So what I'm going to do at this point is bring in my tape and I am going to take my tape and just cover the exposed chipboard. You can place the tape on the chipboard. You can place the tape on the paper, however you want to do it, whatever works for you, as long as you are using a quality adhesive. Then I'll just take my big old spatula, work that tape into the chipboard, peel up my tape, and now we are going to place down that liner piece. And this liner piece is seven and three quarters by five and three quarters. And all I'm going to do this time is take my glue Place my glue along the edges. And just get it nice and covered. And then I'll stick it down on my board. So I'll pick this up and we'll place it down on the board just like this. I'll use my paper towel to get it stuck. And then I will use my big old spatula just to make sure that everything is nice and stuck. So there we have that part of our project done. Okay guys, so now that we have our beautiful platform covered, I am going to place down the components of this little desktop piece. And I have my to-do list that I'm going to place here my sticky note flags that I'm going to place here, and my calendar that I'm going to place here. And if you want, you can add a pen loop to yours. I have several videos out there that show my process for adding pen loops, but I am going to take my glue, place it down right here. Make sure I've got that nice and straight. And then I place some glue on the back of my sticky flags and I'm going to put them right there. And then I'm going to take my calendar, add some glue to the back, and I can place it down 
right here. So you see you have plenty of room and places where you could actually place a pin loop if you wanted to. So don't you think that this is just fabulous? I'm going to bring in the first one so that you can see both of them and they are so stinking cute y'all, just so gorgeous and so useful. If you have to be at home or you have to work in an office, gotta be at a desk, why not make it as pretty as it can be? And using beautiful paper as the background and then custom creating your own layout certainly, certainly makes it yours and it makes your desk oh so special. So I am going to put this to the side and we are going to make this awesome, awesome tissue box. Okay guys, so to make our tissue box, we are going to need a piece that measures five and three eighths by 12. I have already pre-scored this, but on the five and three eighths side, we are going to score at one and a half, and then you score at three and seven eighths. Then we're going to rotate it to the 12 inch side, score at four and one eighth, at five and five eighths, at nine and three quarters, and at 11 and three eighths. So then I'll put the scoreboard away. And we need to fold and burnish all of our score marks. So then once we have all of our scores folded and burnished, we are going to have the center fold here that we need to cut straight up to the first score mark so that we can free up those tabs. Just like that. So now we need to turn it so that it's facing you and you're going to go up to the second score mark and drag straight down. So when we drag down, we freed up these tabs. And now we're simply going to remove just a little bit of this. We're making this the way that we would normally make a box. So this box can be used one of two ways. I have sealed it completely as a one and done, but I will show you how you can use it over and over and over again if you're going to have it sitting out on your desk. So now that we have this, we are simply going to go in just a little bit on those tabs at an angle. And then we also need to come in, and I'm gonna do this with my scissors because that's a very tricky little piece there. We need to come in a little bit on the ends and angle cut, just a sliver of a piece of paper there, not taking off much. And don't throw this away, that little piece that you just cut off, because we're going to use it and we're going to use it right now. So I'm going to straighten it up just a little bit because this is going to become the template for the opening that the tissues will be pulled from. So when you have your box like this, this flap here represents the whole top of the box. So this is where we're going to place down this piece. So I am going to take just a little bit of glue and place it down. I'll try to get it centered. I'm going to get it stuck down. And then I'll use my finger blade just to cut around it so that I can remove it. So I am going to just trim this out completely. And now I have my opening for the tissue. So the way that we're going to put this together is we have these flaps here. These are our glue flaps. So we are going to place glue on these. 
Then we will take these pieces here and attach them to the glue flap just like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Just fold it up and attach it to that glue flap. Now we'll take these two pieces here and glue them to the first piece, but we don't want to glue those tabs there. We only want to glue this portion. So I am going to take my glue and place it down. And then I'll take this piece, making sure that I've got it nice and even here at the top. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And now we have this sweet little box. So if you wanted to make this so that you could replace the tissues, you just fold in right there and you've got a box where you can unfold it and place your tissues in and replace them as you want. But for me guys, this is such a small amount of paper. It was five and three eighths by 12 that you could whip these out in no time to change up the decor on your desk. So I am going to take some of my tissues and just put them inside until I have a nice amount in the box. And for me, I'm going to lay that down just like that, bring this over, and I am going to seal this closed. So the way I'm going to do it, I am going to place some glue on both of these flaps bring this piece over and get that closed. I'll use my spatula just to make sure that it's stuck. Now I can take my glue, place it on that flap that I would fold in if I wanted to use this over and over. Stick that down. And now we have another sweet little tissue box and we can just reach in and pull out a tissue. It is that simple and you end up with these gorgeous, gorgeous mini tissue boxes. So when finished, this measures four by one and a half by two and a quarter. These are truly little desktop cuties. So when you use your Christmas papers, your Halloween papers, your everyday papers, whatever it is you want to use, you can change this out as frequently as you want you can give these to anyone and they will be appreciative. So guys, I am going to bring in these two so you can see that we have another way that we can dress up our desk. These little platforms here are just so versatile and you can use them with a whole bunch of different layouts. You can put all types of um, sticky notes, notepads, whatever it is you want to put on them, you can really get a very upscale look, a very cheery look for your desk for pennies. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.